Hi there, students. A milliner and a haberdasher. Millinery and haberdashery. Okay, these are two professions. I like these words. They're really quite old-fashioned, but I think you could still use them in a formal document if you were writing something formally. Let's see, a milliner is somebody who is dedicated to the design, the manufacture, the sale of ladies' hats. So a millinery shop is a shop that sells ladies' hats. And a haberdasher, notice this word is different in British English and American. A haberdasher or a haberdashery is a place where you buy all the complements you need for sewing. You buy buttons, you buy thread, you buy needles, you buy zips, you buy all of the little pieces that you need um, for sewing. Okay. In the US, they use this word haberdashery to talk about a men's outfitters a place that sells men's clothes, shirts, suits, and ties, generally. Okay, um, let's see. I'd like to look at the origin of this. A milliner, millinery. This comes from Middle English, and um, a milliner, originally a person from Milan in Italy, um, and that then grew to become a person who used to sell fancy goods from Milan and it ended up as a hat maker or a hat seller, a milliner. And then haberdasher or haberdashery. Um, I've read that this word haberdashery comes from an Icelandic word, half or task meaning the things that an ambulant or itinerant vendor sells, a door-to-door -door salesman, the things he would carry with him in his bag. And if you look, a haberdasher in the past would have been somebody who went from place to place selling, and he would have in his bag all of the small things that you would need for sewing. Okay? So, formality. These words are both quite formal and quite unusual. You couldn't use them really in an informal conversation. I think in the pub people might wonder what these words actually meant. Yeah, but in a formal document, in a formal writing for an exam, these, these words sound really great. Okay, so maybe woof, 7.5 in formality, something like that. I guess you could use them in something of medium formality as well. But notice they're very specific words. These a milliner and a haberdasher. Okay, these are old professions. Yeah, so the milliner makes, designs and sells ladies' hats. And the haberdasher in the UK sells all of the things you need for sewing. In the US, the haberdasher is a men's outfitter selling suits, ties and things like that. So I'm sure these are two new words for your vocabulary. So anyway, enough. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel and I'll see you soon. Bye for now. A milliner and a haberdasher the worshipful company of milliners, the worshipful company of haberdashers, they exist. <laughs>